Don Chesling, welcome to Strasbourg. Oh, thank you. We are so happy to be here. You came to us with a new film called Greener Grass, and I saw that Greener Grass was a short film in 2015. Yeah. Uh, it's still a short film. It's. <laughs> Uh, you both wrote and directed the short film also. Mm -hmm. uh, back then, did you have the, already the idea to make it a feature film? Or? Not at all. No. No. Um, in fact, it started out, it wasn't even going to be a short film. We were planning on making what at the time was popular, which is like a web series. So we had an idea to do like seven vignettes and just really normal soccer moms, just really just watching the game normal. And then in each of the ones, one unusual thing happens. And that unusual thing, we were mining from something funny that we wanted to explore and heighten, like people who are like extreme politeness, for example, or like how much um, couples on a double date might flirt with the other husband and these things. So, so that was the original idea. And then the day we were shooting, we had the idea, why don't we also submit this to festivals if we just put it all together? And then we thought of a narrative, like what if your character wants to be my character in the car? on the way to Driving the Driving to set. <laughs> so this is, yes. So no plans of a feature. <laughs> um, you, you have a very accurate look on soccer moms. And so uh, did you grow up on, in that kind of suburbs? We did. We both grew up in uh, the middle of the country in America, in the Midwest suburbia. Jocelyn grew up in a suburb of Chicago, and I grew up in Lincoln, Nebraska, which is also very suburban feeling. And um, we were both middle children, mm -hmm. and I think um, a lot of what's in the movie, as Jocelyn sort of hinted at, are these, this theme of politeness taken to the extreme, and um, in other things we observed and up, taken I, yes. to a much more heightened level, of course. I would say, too, I don't know, I, I definitely played soccer as a child, but my mom was a lawyer, very like serious, studious, and she, you know, wasn't very interested in, like, the suburban culture so much. And so I would observe the other moms that would show up to soccer games in their tennis skirts and, you know, be like cheerleaders for the kids. And I would be like, this is so interesting. This is not what my family is like so much. And then I thought it was so funny. And I was always interested in exploring that kind of suburbia. And what triggers the idea? Is that you, you think that kind of behavior is, uh, well, amazing or weird or? Uh... Uh, just different things for each behavior, sometimes <laughs> disturbing, yeah. sometimes worrisome. Uh, like one of the things we are exploring uh, in the short film that is also in the feature is this observation we had that sometimes people treat their dogs like uh, children and sometimes their children sort of like pets. And this is a disturbing thing. So, yeah. of course. Yeah. so I think on the surface it can be funny or just seem weird, but every everything in the movie is grounded in a in a real thing and, and it has a deeper, often darker uh, texture to it. <laughs> Yes, it, it can be get darker and even sometimes cruel because uh, it begins like something really funny and then you have some really cruel scenes like the, the exchange of the kid and <laughs> things like this. Yes. Uh, uh, my next question is, uh, now the movie has been screened almost everywhere in the world uh, since Sundance. And uh, <laughs> how did the European audience react to the film? compared to American audience? Is it very different or is it quite the same? It's, it's funny, well, it, we're sort of new to screening it in Europe. So we premiered recently at Locarno, and then we've played a couple times in France, um, and just now in Germany. So still a little bit early days, but it's been so fun. The reaction from the foreign audiences, I would say is so an eruption of laughter um, often, where I think um, perhaps they're having fun making fun of Americans. <laughs> yes. But it was, 
funny because when we show the uh, movie in America, there's this thing that tends to happen where we'll be, you know, we, we premiered it in Utah, Sundance, and people at that screening said, this is about the suburbs in Utah, right? This is about the Mormons. And we're like, oh, I don't know about that. And then it's been happening all over. Like, this is about the South, right? Or this is about Seattle, the women in Seattle. And truly, we on purpose wanted it to look like anywhere in America so that kind of thing would happen. So when we screened it, one of our first international screenings was in Bosnia. And these two women came up to us afterwards. They were so excited, like, oh, this is the funniest movie, this. And we, we were like, oh, this is great. Is, is this like the, the women in Bosnia? And they go, no, no, this is what we always thought American was like. So OK. <laughs> You, you might have the same reactions in France. Uh, <laughs> yes. We are happy for people to delight in making fun of Americans. Yes. We also like to. Yeah. Yes, and we are laughing with them, not at them, of course. Of course, of course. And we feel the same. It's not that we want to make fun of American people. It's just that uh, we might have the impression that uh, these suburban people are quite uh, cut off from the world. Uh, yes. Yes. I don't know if it's just a European impression or a... Um, I, no, I think uh, people in the suburbs would think some people around them are, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I saw Jim Cummings uh, did a, well, a little appearance in the film. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, his movie also was released in France last year and it's uh, had yeah. quite some success. So. Uh, do you know that I play his wife in that movie? Uh, in um, Thunder Road. In Thunder Road, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. She looks a little bit different. Yes, yes, yes. I had a bit of a drug problem in them. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, do, you, um, do you feel close from, do you feel close to his cinema, to uh, what Jim Cummings is doing? Uh, we we are such big fans of Jim Cummings. Um, we we met Jim at South by Southwest mm -hmm. in 2016 when his short film Thunder Road was in competition with our short film Green and Grass, and we loved mm -hmm. Thunder Road. We were so taken with it, and um, we a few months later were looking for a producer, and we reached out to Jim, and we said, your short was amazing. Um, can you recommend a producer? And he introduced us to Natalie Metzger, who uh, produced a short film we made and also produced Greener Grass, the feature. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, and we were just so excited to have Jim play a, a small part in the movie. We yeah. think he's just an incredible actor. And um, though I think we have a, a bit different styles, uh, certainly we are so so admire him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, your cinema might be more graphic than <laughs> No, he's more naturalistic. You know? uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But in some it's way, possible. we can feel it's the same maybe family of new independent American cinema. Oh, thank you. We're, uh, we'd be honored to have you say that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks a lot for your answers to all those questions. And uh, oh, thank you for your best luck questions. for the film. Oh, we are honored to be playing here in Strasbourg. So thank you. Yes.